good my fellow youtube fam it's your boy aaron speaking and today i really just wanted to make a quick video about this topic so me and my boys were talking about this the other day and i'm just gonna wing this no pad no paper nothing just freestyle what is the best year of hip-hop like in your opinion like let's let's really talk about it in the comments you know fun discussion when you really look back at it what's your favorite year maybe not the best in terms of like the hit songs that year or accolades or awards that won whatever i'm talking about your personal favorite so i guess what's the best year for you so your boy about to be 30 in like two weeks shit is crazy so the farthest i could really go back you know in terms of hip-hop and shit because i grew up listening to the beatles and whatever my dad made me listen to michael jackson the temptations a lot of old school shit but it wasn't until 50 cent pulled up on the scene man that's what really made me fall in love with hip-hop 50 eminem like those two especially when you're from new york like 50 yo man if there was social media back then who knows where 50's career would be at but you want to talk about like the hottest rapper out the gate like bro shit was insane how big g unit 50 cent like that five year span i want to say maybe like 02 to 07 that that shit was crazy and then lil wayne took over you already know but what is my favorite year so you gotta have like three right and then you gotta narrow it down a year that stands out for me without even really thinking too hard is definitely 2016 um i'm sure a lot of my you know supporters subscribers would probably say that because that's when hip-hop completely change for better or worse like if you're a real old head you probably don't like that because that's when the mumble rap pulled up the little pumps of the world the little yachties the uzis cardi was out but he didn't really break through till the year after but shit i don't know 21 savage kodak like everything changed like lyrical shit started dwindling down like but right before it was really like young thug future fetty wop destroying the game with hit after hit after hit but it was it was just different like 2014 is another one that i personally like that's when i got my first car that's when i was just riding around like yo dj mustard had the radio going crazy every song damn near sound the same <laughs> dun, 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 dun. those little cues whatever he used to hit chris brown the kid ink shit like bruh crazy he was wilding um but like that's when like rich homie kwan was on top young thug was in his prime for me schoolboy q going crazy yg with my crazy life was fire like there was just a lot of fire shit for me in 2014 but then like 2015 low-key underrated too like everything young thug was dropping the slime seasons future with the mixtapes like this shit bro shit was crazy but like something about 2016 it just makes me smile like it just makes me happy like that 2016 summer just all those new artists like i just fell in love with all of them like yachty uzi like the music was so fucking good and different and just so left field like the melodic shit was crazy bro birds in the trap when that came out i thought that was like bro that was like the best shit since sliced bread like the cover art was gas like <laughs> I was fucking with Migos heavy before Bad and Bougie with their three-way EP. Like, there's a lot of shit that I dropped that year. It was so hard. I went to Young Thug's show in the city. Like, I had a lot of fun that year. Ray Shremmerd with, you know, the Black Beatles and their tour with Lil Yachty was sick, bro. That shit was so fun. And then low-key, 2017 is like a good second place, bro. Like, neck and neck with 2016 for me because, I mean, X, bro. I think of 2017, I just think of X, 6 9 like, let's keep it real, bro. You love him or hate him, but 6 9 was wallin' in 2017. So it was just a lot of fun, like, especially if you was in New York, bro. It's trippy Red, you know, Lil Pumble still going crazy. Uh, uh, that was when fucking Damn came out, Kendrick. Uh, man, I went to the Damn tour. That was lit, Butterfly Effect. Bro, Travis opened up for Kendrick on the damn tour like that shit is crazy there's just a lot of good shit 2018 low-key too though with denzel curry's uh uh fuck i'm blacking out taboo astro world juice world bro goodbye and good riddance like come on bro that 2018 low-key yo I, not enough yo the more i think about it i don't know bro x's question mark 
Future dropped Beast Mode 2, which I like. Future and Juice World dropped. Damn, I'm black. 2019 was cool, but that's when like the drill shit, like Pop Smoke pulled up and like a lot of the YouTube. It was like a YouTube era that came swarming in. I mean, I, Lil Tecca was like SoundCloud, but like still YouTube. And then you had like Kid Leroy. And then like the street shit kind of like the little babies of the world the baby damn I'm trying to think like 2019 was really a lot of pop smoke i ain't gonna lie to you i mean juice world too but and then like 2020 was cool i fucked with 2020 but it was really a lot of drill shit like 2021 was pretty dope like the new soundcloud era taking over i think of trip at night from that year i think of like yeet sofago like just all the new you feel me? The new shit pulled up, and that shit was crazy. 2022 low keto, crazy. Crit, bro. So much good shit, bro. Like, Lancey Foles album from that year was mad good. But, like, when I go back, back, though, like, real back, I really fuck with 2008 low key. Like, the Carter 3, 808 and Heartbreak, Young Jeezy was wildin', T.I. was wildin', Kid Cudi was, you know what I'm saying, on the scene. Like, music was just so different. 09 was interesting like with the jerk movement the new boys and like soldier boy was wallin low b you know pulled up on the scene like a lot of shit changed in 09 a lot of shit changed a lot of things were just transitioning like the blog era the big shans of the world the wale's tyler like this shit was crazy bro man i could go on for so long bro but i really want to talk with you guys in the comments though like what's your favorite year in hip-hop bro i'll check you guys in the next video Peace. Tommy.